the things that I've always wanted to do is hunt a mule deer in West Texas. So when I got the phone call from my buddy Adam, I was beyond excited. Coming on this hunt, Adam told me there was a high possibility of us getting on a good mule deer. I can't thank you enough for having me out here. Um, I've never been a mule deer hunting out in here in West Texas, so I'm excited. I'm glad to have you. It's going to be awesome. Is it gotten harder due to the uh, like the weather and anything that's going on around here, or more or less the drought? Dude, last spring, uh, it's either blowing cold as hell or hotter than hell. So I don't know. There's really no in between on it. <laughs> If the wind drops in the morning, I think it'll be it'll be real good. Yeah, this is crazy. This is kind of kind of hard to, uh, to take in. You know, down south Texas, we don't yes. we don't get this kind of wind, and we definitely don't get this kind of open country and, and all the different terrains that you guys have out here. It's, right. it's tough and it's exciting. You know, it's one of those things where you know I like to push myself to the limit and push the boundaries, and then this is definitely it here. It can make There's a break really your no ego too. Between, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess for now we'll do a little bit of, you know, spotting and glassing and see if we can see something right. and and uh, come up with a game plan tonight and then you know give it a crack in the morning. If this wind breaks, I think we'll have good luck in the morning. I do. On our first morning hunt, right at daylight, our plan was to drive around in the high rack and spot a mule deer and begin our stock. There's a buck way over there. We need to get down, get at least work up to a tree or to that group of trees. I think that's gonna be too far, but try to work up a little closer. super young so we decided to watch them and then they got within 20 yards finally spotted us and took off once he got close we were able to look at him he was a beautiful buck but it just wasn't what we were looking for he was young and uh, I ended up passing unfortunately that was the only buck we ever saw but you know hunting is not always killing something it's about making memories it's about meeting new people hunting in new terrains and to me, it was a great experience. And let me just tell you, this is not the last time that I'll be hunting West Texas for mule deer. I'll be back next year.